Anusha Jain. I'm a practicing physician for 36 years in Orlando. I specialize in anti-aging and regenerative medicine, emergency medicine, and also pediatrics. I love my profession and I feel blessed because the way I help people. Today, I'm going to share with you a story where I put my patient first over money. I face a complaint from my neighbor because he claims that garbage from my house was blowing in his yard. But that was to cover his own problem of installing the fence against the homeowner guidelines. My homeowner association started investigating me for absolutely everything, even my own backyard. How is that fair? We complied with every little minor thing, but they still fined us. They did not send us a notice of fine which is required by Florida statute. Interestingly, when we went to review the records related to the fine, we saw the record of the notice, but we found that the notice on the record was falsified. The notice was from the homeowners association attorney who fabricated the documents to cover his tracks after he apparently forgot to send the notice. How an attorney can make a false document? just to cover his tracks. His actions of falsifying the document, false label, is appalling and destructive. We were horrified that the attorney would make a false document. And after multiple ignore attempts to speak with this attorney, we filed the lawsuit. I was going to represent myself, but because I filed the lawsuit against the attorney, I was treated unfairly in the state court. They never coordinated the hearing date and time with me, and they just sent a notice. I'm a daughter of an honest attorney, so I was not going to back down. I had a hearing scheduled on February 19th, 2021, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for four hours. But since they treated me unfairly in the state court, I filed a removal of my case to the federal court. On February 19th, in the morning at 9 o'clock, they could not do the hearing because I filed the removal. At 1.30 p.m. on the same day, I was treating a patient who had fallen off the ladder with multiple injuries. While I was treating this patient, I received a call from judge's office in my office, and he wanted to start the hearing right then and there. I asked him what about the removal. Then he said that it was rejected and you're hearing from the horse's mouth. I told him that I was treating a patient with multiple injuries, but he didn't care. He said that he's going to start the hearing anyway. I was not going to leave the patient in the middle of the treatment. His demand was inhumane, so hearing went on without me. The hearing went on for two hours, and I don't even know what they discussed. But at the end, they charged me $450,000 for their attorney fees. If any of us made the false document, we would go to jail. But look at them. Talk about some connections. I'm still fighting them, but this story demonstrates putting principle over money. I would rather be fined than leaving an injured patient without a care. Thank you for listening to my story. In God we trust, we believe in America, and God bless the USA. Good evening. My name is Sean Oppenheimer. I am here in Florida, in Orlando, in the Dr. Phillips area from Connecticut. I was a Disney College program participant for almost the past two months. And during this time, I've gotten to know Dr. Jane. I've come to her clinic. We've had dinner together, and I helped her film a lecture series, which is called Stand Up For Your Rights. The purpose that she describes is not necessarily that everyone in the United States is a good person, uh, not that everything always goes as planned. She's been through a lot, but she still loves this country, and she exemplifies what it means to be an American because she is able to stand up for her rights and she encourages everyone to do the same. Dr. Jane cares for her patients. 
and she exemplifies what it means to be an American. So thank you for watching these videos, and I look forward to her continuing to make lectures about the greatness of this country. Thank you.